But the real issue comes down to eternal security in the tribulation and a faith work system. The uh, these guys are coming out with the faith works. They think because you take you don't take the mark of work, that's a work. It's a work that shows faith. Just like just like the Hebrews 11, it's a work. It's not a work that's part of your faith and the Lord gives gives you salvation. It's a work that shows you have faith. That's what that that's what not taking the mark will show. You have faith. If you take the mark of the beast, it shows you haven't faith. That's that's the crucial thing. Your faith will be shown up by what you do. But it shows what you believe. It isn't part that you uh, that the work somehow added or met or, or, or blended in with um, with your uh, your faith, which is uh, it can't happen. The fact is, is uh, uh, grace, it's going to be the all grace, or it's going to be all works, and faith is what goes goes with work with grace, uh, not uh, not works. So the works, not taking the mark, will show who's saved and who's not. Now the argument is that this great pressure is going to be in there. Of course, there's great deception. In fact, it's so bad that God shortens the days. That's what he, they, all, they ignore grace. What these guys want to do is act like grace isn't, isn't there anymore. And there will be grace, grace enough for people who will, will die instead of taking the mark, and people will resist the uh, taking the mark because they, they'll have the grace to do so.